Hi guys, it's me, Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself, and I'm here to discuss my review of this movie that I thought I did a review on it, but it turns out I didn't. Yeah, it was a big shocker to me that I didn't do a review on this. The Last Witch Hunter. This one talks about a witch hunter named Calder who's been a witch hunter for like around 800, 600 years after the witch queen put a curse on him to make him immortal. And I must say, this movie was a, was a pretty okay movie. I really do admire that how, how there are witches among us. <laughs> but it isn't the first time. I mean, Harry Potter, anyone? <laughs> yeah. It has some it has some great moments in this. Like we get to see Calder becoming acquainted to this witch named Chloe, played by Rose Leslie. You all might know her from Game of Thrones and also engaged or married to Kit Harrington. <sighs> she was nice. I, but I was really to admire how the witch queen look. She definitely looks like like a bad evil version of Mother Nature. <laughs> Are you sure? And she did remind me of some other villains who well, forget it. Still, she, I, dude, I really do like the battle between between Colter and the Witch Hunter. That was pretty epic. I really do like that saying he said, by iron and fire. So, oh, so fierce. <laughs> I, it was so cool. And I really do like it how it ended, though, how it played one of Sierra's songs, Paint It Black. Oh my God, that was a great song she did. Okay, guys. So for my score for this movie, I know it, it sucked with the critics and the fans, but... To me, this was like a guilty pleasure to me. I mean, after all, I'm really into witches. Put a spell on you. And now you're mine. So I think I'll give this one a seven and a half. Yeah, definitely that review. Okay, you guys, I guess that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, and wear a mask. Bye.